Hello everyone and welcome to today's session on what is Apache Tomcat server. Before starting today's session, please do not forget to hit the subscribe button and click the bell icon. So basically, Apache Tomcat is one of the most used Java technologies today with 48% of developer adopting it in 2022. But why is it so popular and how does it stack up against the competing Java web and application servers? Basically, it's a free Java servlet container that supports a variety of Java Enterprises specs, including Websites API, Java Server Pages, and of course, the Java Servlet. So without further ado, let's check today's agenda. First, we are going to discuss about what is Apache Tomcat. Then, we are going to discuss about what kind of server is Apache Tomcat. Then, we are going to study about advantages of Tomcat. Then, we are going to study about disadvantages of Tomcat. Then, we are going to compare Tomcat versus other servers. And at the end, we are going to discuss about its conclusion. So, what is Apache Tomcat? Tomcat's full name is Apache Tomcat and it was created in an open collaborative environment and released for the first time in 1998. It started out as a reference implementation for Java Servlet API. However, it is no longer considered the reference implementation for both of these technologies. Yet, it is still the primary choice among users. Apache Tomcat is basically widely used as open source web server and Java servlet container. Tomcat was created by Sun Microsystems as a reference implementation for Java servlet and Java server pages and it was eventually donated to the Apache Software Foundation. Since then, other Sun volunteers have contributed to the product, leading to its accreditation as a top-level Apache project in 2005. Many enterprises now utilize Apache Tomcat since it implements many of the Java AAA requirements. Servlets in Java, Java server pages, Java expression language and Java web sockets are all examples of Java technologies. At the time of writing, Apache Tomcat 10.0.x is the most recent Tomcat release and it is still in the active development. It's the first Tomcat release to provide support for Java Servlet 5.0 and Java Server Pages 3.0, Java Expression Language 4.0 and WebSocket 2.0. Now let's discuss about what kind of server is Apache Tomcat. But first, let's have a look at how many types of application servers are supported by Java ecosystem and see where Tomcat fits in. A servlet container is essentially a Java servlet implementation that is mostly used to host Java servlets. The Java Enterprise Application Server is Java specification of implementation. A web server is a type of server that uses a local system such as Apache to serve files. We can claim that Tomcat is JSP at its core, which means that Java server pages. JSP, also known as server-side view, is a rendering technology, is one of the most server-side programming technologies that allows developers to build platform-independent dynamic content. A servlet is a Java-based software component that aids in the expansion of a server capabilities. It can, however, react to a variety of requests and is commonly used to host web application on the servers. From developer's perspective, we only need to build Java server pages or the servlet and Tomcat will handle the routing. Because Tomcat serves as both web server and servlet container, it is referred to as web server rather than application server. It doesn't have all Java Enterprise Edition features, but it isn't necessarily a drawback. Many applications just require Tomcat's functionality. Thus, upgrading to powerful tools isn't necessary. If the functionality provided by Apache Tomcat are sufficient, you can use it for production application that processes millions of requests. In any event, Tomcat is a ready-to-use application. Now, let's discuss about is Tomcat still a favorite? Tomcat is used by 48% of Java teams, according to our 2022 Java Developers Productivity Report. This is owing to the fact that it is very light tool and that is also available for free. It provides the majority of fundamental functionality required by many applications and has a quick startup time and has a far shorter redeploy times than other tools on the market. If you ever have a problem, the rich documentation will almost certainly assist you in finding the solution. Tomcat has excellent documentation and anything not covered in the official documentation can be found on the internet where you have several number of tutorials. It's also worth noting that Tomcat isn't a one-size-fits-all Java application server. The proper server is always determined by application requirements. Now let's discuss about advantages of Tomcat. First, 
It is open source and free. It implies that anyone from anywhere can download it, install it and use it for free, making it the preferred platform for new developers and users. Next, it is exceptionally lightweight. Even with the Java EE certification, it's fairly light application. However, compared to its many competitors, it provides all necessary and conventional functionalities required to manage a server, which means it provides very rapid load and redeploys. Yes, it is true that it does not offer a large amount of features, but if you want a simple and quick way to operate your application, it is the perfect alternative for you. Let's discuss about its third feature. It is highly adaptable. It offers high versatility due to its built-in customization options, fast and lightweight nature. A user can operate it in any way he wants and still perform correctly because it is open source and anyone with the knowledge can customize it to meet their needs. Next advantage of Tomcat is its stability. It is one of the most stable platforms available today for building and running applications. We are utilizing it to run ours because it runs independently of Apache system and it is quite stable. If Tomcat experiences a major failure and ceases to function, the remainder of our server will continue to function normally. Its next feature is documentation. It has a lot of evidence. It offers a great documentation, including large number of free online tutorials that can be downloaded or seen immediately online by the user, making it one of the best choices for filling the demand of an application server in almost every Java web application. Whether a user is looking for installation instruction, startup settings, or server configuration nodes. All of this information may be found on the internet. There are few other advantages such as its security. It adds an added layer of security because many firms prefer to put their Tomcat installation behind secondary firewall that can be accessed only from the Apache installation. And next, it is actually kind of a mature. So when we go back in time and we see that it has been around for about 20 years, which is a substantial period of time during which it has matured because Tomcat is an open source software and it is updated frequently with new releases and it is maintained by the open source community. Because of its maturity, it is one of the most reliable application servers for developing software, creating application and then delivering Java application. Since then, it has shown to be very solid choice than it has grown in strength thanks to excellent community support. With all of these advantages, let's discuss about few of the disadvantages of Tomcat. If you are looking with the static pages, it is not quick as Apache. It does contain some flaws such as memory leak. It has a method of dealing with logs. It has a problem with SSL setups and its method of dealing with logs. These are one of the most prominent Tomcat's drawback and also it has very poor and rudimentary user interface. Now let's look at some of Tomcat's drawback. If you are working with the static pages, it's not as quick as Apache. It contains some flaws such as memory leak. It has a problem with SSL setups and also its method of dealing with logs. And at the end, it has a poor and rudimentary user interface. Now, let's discuss Tomcat versus other web servers. For example, at the first, we are going to take Jetty. So, if we talk about Tomcat versus Jetty, Tomcat is frequently compared to Jetty when it comes to lightweight servers. Jetty is a servlet container an HTTP server that is frequently used as an embedded server. Jetty was the only tool that could run in embedded mode for a long period of time. Tomcat can now run in both embedded and standalone modes. Both of these technologies are open source with Tomcat being produced under Apache 2.0 an open source license and Jetty being created under the Eclipse Foundation Apache 2.0 an Eclipse public license 1.0. Now let's discuss about the benefits of Tomcat. Now Tomcat actually has a high market share and it focus on being up to date with the latest specification. It is very well documented and it is also embeddable. But if we talk about Jetty, it prioritizes the needs of user community. It has a small memory footprint and it is also embeddable. Now let's discuss about other web server such as WebLogic server versus Tomcat. WebLogic is a commercial project currently being developed by Oracle Corporation and as such it is licensed and requires license to be used commercially. WebLogic outperforms Tomcat in number of ways including the ability to enable distributed transaction versus the transaction manager, corporate Java Beans and other capabilities that make it a viable commercial solution 
and enterprise application. WebLogic also includes a superb administration console that makes server administration pleasure. And on the other hand, Tomcat doesn't have all these features. Let's discuss at the end what we conclude. So, for Java development teams, picking the right application server can be a difficult task. But one thing is definitely certain, you must always examine the application's requirement. This will prevent you from selecting a tool that provides more feature than application require, cause unnecessary pressure on everything else such as memory, startup times and setup. Whether you are sure or not which server is best for you, start with Tomcat to see how it will suffice. Although Apache Tomcat is not a pure application server comparing to other tools listed above, but it can also help you to understand how they should be used. Tomcat's main competitor for Lightwell tool is Jetty, as both implement only a few Java Enterprise Edition functionalities. Thank you. That was all from my side. Just a quick info guys, if you want to make a career in cloud computing, then IntelliPad provides an advanced certification on cloud and DevOps by IIT Madras. This course is taught by industry experts and IIT Madras faculty. This course is designed to upskill and land your dream job.